about, people have been asking about um, boom preventers and there are various sorts you can buy which you can attach to the boom itself but we've got a, a, a simple one intended for a much easier purpose. The whole idea of ours is for light wind sailing days like today where there mightn't be enough pressure to hold the boom and the sail against a rolly sea. When we were in the Irish Sea last year we had a slight beam wind and it was producing slight swells so what would happen was every so often as the boat rocked back against the swell the boom would come into the cockpit like this and then it would go back out again and it's stressing the sheets it's stressing the boat and it's dangerous for people in the cockpit so we wanted a way to stop this swinging on a light wind day uh, when we're not doing a lot of tacking we're maybe sailing for like 10 or 20 miles before we do a tack that sort of thing so it's not inconvenient and it's safe to go forward those are the key points so what we came up with are these little beauties a nice long length of whoops a nice long length of uh, line a loop with a block on it and a loop with a loop on it and the idea is very 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 simple this one goes through the back of the boom and through the loop that way we don't have a metal clip wearing on the boom This one goes forward to one of the cleats and then what will happen is this line will be run through this block from here to the forward cleat back to here and then this carabiner this carabiner is then clipped to the other end of that and we can then I'll do it now like so we can then pull this tight against the forward block and it just pulls the boom out so that it can come swinging in. If we have to tack, we either have to release this, grab this and pull the line back through the block into the cockpit or something like that, or maybe just release the line and let it tangle in the rigging a bit. But once again, it's for light wind days when there's no pressure on a sailing and we just want to stop the boom swinging on the swell. So if you're in a race and doing tacking, this is not the way to do it. All right, I'm gonna set this up now and we'll go over it when I've set it up. Okay, now we're currently mirrored up, but I'm not taking this off, <laughs> it's a spring line, but just pretend this cleat is empty and we're at sea. So what happens is this block gets pulled over that cleat, and then this big line I showed you earlier gets fed through the block, and we then take this line back to the cockpit. So now I've brought this line back from the cleat. We put it on the carabiner like so, and then I can use the block so if we imagine that this boom is out because we're at sea, I can now it would normally be out considerably further, but we're in the dock, so you're gonna to have to work. Whoops, we're in the dock, so you're gonna to have to work with me on this. I can pull that tight, put it around a winch, clean it off in the winch, and it just stops the boom coming in through the cockpit and swinging. Normally, I would expect my boom to be out here somewhere, so the line would be clear of all the rigging and stanchions and lines and things like that. But it's just a matter of running it to the right places to suit the conditions you're in. But that's basically how this is intended to work. Yeah.